those of you watching, I'm Leo Pusateri, the founder of the sabbatical experience, and one of the key people in my life is sitting right here by me today, who's uh, been one of my dearest friends, a brother, a member of my family, literally, and someone who's pushed me. I mean, I'm talking about pushed me, has had his hands on my shoulders and his finger in my face, challenging me to do the things that are inside of me to really make a difference in the lives of others. And we've been on this, this path, this journey of um, unique personal introspection. We, we, you and I have talked about getting off the rocket ship or the carousel in our business life. And when we, when we said, you know, your next big project is you, and you sat in this very room with a community that we developed a couple years ago when we were going through a beta test of these principles that we affectionately call the sabbatical experience, talking about significance, talking about regrets, talking about abundance and gratitude and being your best and living your legacy and perspective and things like this. You sat right over here. Right over there. Right over here. You met people for the first time. First time. First time. You came in a little skeptical, and you were here because you wanted to help me. That's right. All right. What was happening in that experience to you to this day that still resonates. I remember it. I remember it like it was yesterday, Leo. And and, and again, you're right. I, I I did come in just to help you. Yeah. Uh, I, I I wasn't here to truly you know jump in as a participant, but I wanted to look at the, the framework, look at the the quality of what was going to be happening, and, and and judge it for myself in terms of where could this go. And, and immediately at that table right over there, immediately one of, one of the, uh, the the participants, one of the leaders, um, was sitting there. And I I didn't really know the role that she was going to play. And she, she asked me some unbelievably interesting questions that, that got me to start to, to literally change from being this observer to total engagement. To, to big all of a sudden, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm opening up myself to this woman. And I'm saying, first of all, I'm saying, who are you? Yeah. Right? Who are, I don't even know who you are. Yeah. And secondarily, I'm saying to myself, my God, is everybody around this room going to be like you? Yeah. And, and, as, and as time wore on, First of all, she was fascinating. Yeah. She, she became a fascinating leader. She was part of the, the project. But we started walking. We started going out in, into the into the beautiful property here and having three people, four people sitting there. And, and, as, and as we were starting to unlock each other, yeah. everybody unlocks at different times, right? I mean, everybody unlocks. But don't forget, I came in not necessarily wanting to be unlocked. I wanted to observe. And I'm, I'm fully immersed. Fully yeah. immersed. Yeah. The, the framework that you set up the sabbatical allows for like-minded people yeah. coming from all different walks of life to come in and really, really immerse themselves. And it happens very quickly. Even, even for those who think they don't want to be. Yeah, exactly. All right. And the beauty you're going to have is, Leo, you already have a significant amount of folks in this, in this very first session that's going to be happening in, in beautiful Arizona, and they're ready to go. So can you imagine the power of that? Yeah. It's funny because I was smiling, watching you, thinking it was almost like you're going to be this little mouse in the room, <laughs> taking some notes and helping me. Next thing I know, you're out in the middle of the floor. She's she locked me. What's going on? She, something happened quickly, and that you, you went from this. I'm going to come up to help Leo to seriously engaged, personal introspective experience for yourself. It was moving you to the point where you were. Acting on things I think you had thought about and were doing, and some of the other folks, other Bob Doherty's from St. Louis and Montreal and Toronto, and all the places and people where people came into the program from, all of a sudden were acting differently. Do you remember what I said? Remember what I said, and you said, I've never heard that from you before. I told you I carry a folder with yeah. me. Yeah, that's right. A folder with me. Of all the things that have happened in my life that have made significance in my entire career, a folder. Of personal notes that have been written to me, of people giving me critiques about me. I carry a folder with me all the time. And I said, You wrote me personal letters and notes on cards yeah. that made significant emotional impact to me that I had right in that very folder that day. And you said, I, I didn't know it. And at that moment, I sat there and wrote one to my wife. Yeah, I remember that. I won't throw with Nancy because who's who's who's, 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 who's going through fighting cancer, health issues, and, and, and not fighting it still. 
And, and to me, that was the beginning of trying to, to change and become a better Bob. Yeah. A, a, better, a better husband, a better Bob at that table trying to figure out how I did that. Well, that, that corresponds to one of the program principles out of the seven was the issue of gratitude. And we, if you remember in the room here, we actually had a gratitude wall. I do remember. And everybody was getting up at different points in time with post-it notes. They, they you know, putting things up around the whole room. was covered. The whole room was all, all you could see is all the post-it notes. And what I loved was that people were looking and saying, hey, look at what this guy wrote from Montreal. Look at what she wrote from St. Louis. Or, and there are things that we take for granted. And the exercise that we got involved with that's part of the sabbatical is a big stop sign. And saying, who are the people that have had an influence on your life, right? that have made a difference to you? Right. And one of the things we do, and for those of you considering coming to sabbatical, we're going to be in your face in a nice way, but developing your top 100 list of people who made a difference. And then in the program, what you experienced was the power when you when you say time out to yourself. And you started with Nancy, obviously. I did. With your wife. And other people may have started with a, a business teacher from high school or some coach or something right. else in their life, some mentor, some friend, some other person they work with, a co-worker, something that did something that resonated with them to this day. People were responding differently. And that's what I loved about it was when people started sharing those stories right. and they started opening up. But what about being vulnerable, Bob, in this? Because we talk about people ask me about what are your expectations, Leo? And I said, I just I want you to come in being prepared to learn. I want you to come in being open-minded. I want you to be prepared to come in to accept feedback as feedback as a gift, to be able to give it properly as well. I want you to come in to be able to feel like not only accepting coaching, but you need to coach others, and I need you to be vulnerable. We're appropriate. Right. What's your take on that? Right. You know, Leo, it's funny that you and I have talked about this, that... Um, Creating a, a transparency and a, an openness, a, a, a vulnerability, as you talk about it, this notion of creating a moment for self-awareness, and not just a moment, but the entire four days of, of really opening up that door of self-awareness. Um, you know, the framework you lay, lay out gives people a safety valve to figure out when and where they, they decide to jump on. Okay? For me, it was immediately before the session even started with one of the leaders who was sitting at my table as we discussed, it was immediately, immediately. For others, you can tell around the room, they had to find the right moment. Yeah, where's the right moment? But, 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 but I'm here to tell you that, that sooner or later, in the course of the framework of what you do and the, and the way that the exercises work and the different ways of going about where do we do it, how do we do it in this, in this beautiful location, something there opens you up and creates moments of self-awareness and transparency. And the first time you put that yellow sticker on a wall and share a little bit about yourself, I can almost go around the room right now and remember everybody where they sat and what they said. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, two years. Two years later. Two years later right now. Still and it. ultimately what happens is that, that you, know, you start to develop a bond of, of this cohort of like-minded leaders. Okay? Yeah. A bond that I can only imagine now with how you've changed the framework with sustainability for 12 months afterwards with, with him, some coaching that goes with that, I, I can only imagine what's going to happen. Because what's going to, I believe, will happen is that they're going to start to lean on each other as they walk away and, and challenge themselves around, what do I want to do now with my agenda, my customization of the sabbatical project? Me, what do I want to do for me? Yeah. Okay. Bob, just some final thoughts here. Uh, I tell people when they say, tell me a little bit about the sabbatical experience and I, I immediately go to our tagline I said your next big project is you and you need to start thinking about the next five to 25 years of your life around some of these important principles to take your success to surround yourself to go through that unzipping that zipper on the chest and allowing yourself to to be more heartfelt and to, to find out what's deeper within you what's really driving you in your life going forward and stuff. How would you net this out to a former partner or PwC or somebody on the board from the work you've been doing the last few years? So they said, well, what's this new program that you experienced? How are you putting Bob Doherty terms? Yeah, I, I, I think that, uh, I, I called it a gift. 
And and I, I think that uh, the talents we, we have, anybody who sits in this room has accomplished wonderful, great things. And my challenge for them, my challenge for them is, is to, to think about their gifts and think about how can they make the largest, biggest, significant impacts in their life. Where, where, where they're living it every day. Because you know, you and, I, you and I both know, every day, every day we have a chance to make an impact. Yep. And never have a regret. Never have a regret to say, you know, why, why, why did I not do this? Why did I not do that? Why did I? And, and it never comes, it never comes up, I need, I need to spend more time at work. I need, I need to spend more time in the subway to get to, you know, in airplanes. It comes up to the other things that you never have a chance to totally reflect on and say, I'm going to make an impact there. Yeah. there. I will have no regrets there. And there's no question, I said this to you before, the people that, that, that come to these projects and programs, they're, they're good people. They just haven't taken the time out to say, I can make a difference now. A significant difference yeah. in ways that I never imagined. And the, and the good people that we want here, I want to reinforce this point that this isn't a program for the masses. It's not. We, we've been pretty strict about this, that this program is built around scarcity, as I call it. You, know, that you need to have a smaller grouping of people, right, in order to have do. the right environment of collective sharing and wanting to learn. And it's, it's the type of program where you might have a sparkling water, somebody might have a Tito's, somebody might be lighting up a cigar, somebody might just be looking at the mountains and the clouds. And just being a smaller grouping of people, they can say, hey, Bob, you mentioned something today during that program. Right, right. Or, right. You know, can, can, I, can I pick your brain on right. something here? They, they, and I wanted that to be intimate. They have no idea. I want to be intimate. They have no idea the setting that you selected for this, yeah. this program. If you can't get unlocked there, and I've been, I've been in just about every possible setting around the world. If you can't get unlocked there, you know, then you probably weren't meant at that moment in time. And my guess is because of the scarcity, because of the of the of the kinds of faculty you right. have. Right. There's no question that there, we're going to take people on journeys uh, with a sabbatical project that they never possibly could have imagined. You continue to unlock me. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate it.